Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here, once again, back in Forza Horizon 4. And we are continuing our uh, little Hot Wheels adventure on the uh, rally stage. And today we're going to take the Twin Mill for a spin. I'm going to buy a new one just because I don't feel like removing the tune I've already got in mine. Uh, 8 million, sure, this guy will be happy. We will collect the car. And there we go. Now he's tuned it to S2. We will, of course, remove his tune. And see what we can do with it ourselves. And I'm also going to remove that paint job. I have no idea what that is. Hold on a second. It gives me the option to explode. Oh, nice. I can do that. Actually, a pretty cool roll cage. Look at that. Oh, well. Uh, paint car. Yeah, we'll remove it. Will it be a stock paint job? Will it be... Well, it'll be the gold, golden orange. All right, let's hope this doesn't remove the police livery of my other one. Oh, well, even though I say apply to current car, that also seems to apply to uh, all of that same car you have. Game is trash. Oh, well, uh, upgrades tuning. Next up will be interesting because, oh my god, Forza Dawn, I don't care, get out of here. We start as 821. If we put on all-wheel drive, we can keep it in this one. That is interesting. Now, can we put on rally tire compounds in S1? We can. I did not think we would be able to get any upgrades on this. I thought we would be rear-wheel drive with 1,400 horsepower. No, this is fine. Look at this. And we even have some aero parts, which we will want. For a grip. And stock gearbox there will be fine. It's upgraded. We will want rally suspension. And I'm not sure we'll want that. We will want weight reduction. We cannot get full weight reduction uh, without sacrificing a lot of stuff. I'll see what I can do, because weight on this car is the biggest problem. Power, obviously, not the issue. So if I sacrifice uh, front tire width, it's not usually what you want to do. And if I put on heavier rims, it's not going to be enough. Now if I remove the front scooper there, yeah. That really does bring down its uh, grip. We've had cars run with only rear, rear aerodynamics, but for this car being so heavy, no, we're gonna we're gonna put the car back onto its standard rims. Uh, PI is gonna stay messed up for a little bit. We'll have to do that, and we have to make up the rest with power. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we're not gonna do that. Because I forgot to increase the width of the front wheels. So we have as much front grip as possible. Now this is going to be a real bugger of a car to upgrade, isn't it? Okay, okay. We can do that. Pistons, displacement. I like how from standard, we're running twin 8.2 liter V8s. And then we increase that to twin 8.5 liter V8s. It's stupid. Now that means we can save weight now with different rims. That's actually pretty good for us here. We can't get the best rims available to us. But we can get some that are lighter. Not too much lighter. We still are way above 4,000 pounds. Even with full weight reduction, we're like barely below that. So it's hilarious. That's going to have to do it though for our twin mill. 1500 horsepower. 
we weigh 4,400 pounds. Obviously, half that weighs from the second engine. It'd probably weigh 3,000 pounds, or like 3,300 pounds, if it were uh, one engine. But obviously, we wouldn't have 1,500 horsepower in that case. Uh, that's going to have to be our top speed. Uh, we will want stiffer anti-roll bars. I don't want this thing almost falling over in every turn. A little bit stiffer in the back. A little bit stiffer there as well. Aerodynamics, we don't have the best like wings. We just have the standard Forza wings. There's nothing special. 106, 114, that's not good grip levels. That's going to be what we have to have. So this car, I am expecting to absolutely monster the straight sections up the hill. I'm not sure about anything else. That's like the smallest difference I've ever seen for 0 to 60. Like 8 thousandths of a second. Alright then. Now obviously we have massive back tires. Oh. I have left out uh, something I can't upgrade, actually, it seems. Let's see this. Yeah, a little bit more weight out of it. That's good to see. It will help us a little bit. Move 20 pounds. That's going to be our twin mill. I don't suspect we will have changed anything... Uh, was there a 60 or anything like that? No, we're going to stay like this. Our twin mill is ready to go. 1,500 horsepower. You can get it up to almost 2,000. Oh, man. No, what am I doing there? Uh, Master Center, yeah, I, I won the vehicle, I know. This is going to be quite interesting. It's so heavy, but it's so powerful. Interestingly, it's not actually uh, too much more powerful than the likes of the international truck. It's got 200 more horsepower, yes, but it's also got 2,000 more pounds. So, I uh, don't think we're going to be able to beat the 2 Jetsy. 2 Jetsy was so light, still had almost 700 horsepower. It was half, it was more than half the weight, and still had half the horsepower. So it has about the same power to weight ratio as this. But of course, it doesn't have the weight. Oh dear, I don't know what we're going to be able to do here. I'll Pull something out the sleeve, though. Now, I didn't think of this. The weight might be good for keeping us stable. It won't be good through the turns here. Watch out. But it will be good for keeping us more stable in other sections. Look at us go! We're almost 190 by the time we break. Ouch. Okay. Noted. Need to break way earlier than line says. Otherwise, you will slide and die. Look at us. We're keeping up with that 2-Jet-Z <laughs> in these turns. 
not for long, but we were able to at least see it. Now it's over the hill and out of sight. Alright. I don't know what I need to do for that last turn yet. I don't know what I'm going to have to do for this first turn either. On the brakes right here. Yeah, that worked. All right, we will run on it, of course. But what can we do with this run? Power! Tag the wall. Oh well. We're not good through this turn. I need to watch out for that turn. We were ahead for quite a bit. Because of that run we had. That's a good line through there though. Watch out. Alright, gotta go through here. So I don't just clip all the fencing. We're closer than I thought we would be. By a long shot. I only went down to first for the engine braking because, well, with two engines, you actually get pretty good engine braking. Six gear is good for the torque. Look at this, we're running away! Oh no! Oh, that is awful! What happened to us? Why did we get carted awful? Oh, we hit the dirt on the braking zone. We don't want to do that. Noted. Very much noted. Maybe more brake pressure to the back would have been ideal. Better through here. We're still ahead of it at this point. Oh my gosh. If I can not dirty a lap, we'll have a good time. Ah, awful turn. It's gonna get ahead of us. Okay, focus. No talking. Too much sliding, god dang it. Come on, this car just doesn't turn at speed. I gotta go full send if I have a chance at winning this. No! Oh my gosh, I hate this car. It's one of the best, but I hate it. No! Ah, I can't do it. I was so close. I was so very close. This car, it's so close to being amazing, but it just can't do it. It's too heavy. I'm not sure what else we could have done better. I had a pretty good run, but we see here, it's too heavy. Even with a good run, it can't control it. 
It just slides wide and wall rides. Certainly a great second place car, but not good enough to take down the 2JZ consistently. With enough laps, I could probably do it, but I only give myself five, and even then, I rewinded this last lap. So, was it really five? Oh well. We can run on it so hard up the straight, and keep good speed through the dirt section, but when we get to the tight dirt corners, we just fall apart. Kind of expected for a vehicle this heavy. Give it up for the twin mill. Last up is going to be the Bone Shaker. Now, I don't think we will be allowed to uh, race it in rivals mode, so we will need to do just a six lap race where I let the AIs get a massive head start. That's for next time, though. If you guys are up for that, please do go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe as well. Let's see if we get anything cool here. Probably not. A million credits, not bad. I did just spend eight million on this vehicle, so that's a nice kickback, I guess. I'll see you all in the future.